are you ready for Birchbox versus Ipsy? Because that is totally what we're doing today. Today I'm going to be opening both of these, but I wanted to make a little quick shout out for last month's video because last month was an epic month as far as beauty subscriptions are concerned because my two tied for perfect tens. So in case you missed that video, guys, you have to go see it. I'll have the link for it down below, but also I'll have the links to sign up or just to get more information on either one of these services. But let's not waste any more of your time and get started with Birchbox. Look how pretty we are! Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I gotta get the whole thing out. Oh my gosh, guys. So I just now remembered that I did get one of the limited edition boxes this month. I haven't done this for a while, but I always feel like the bang for my buck I get for these is a lot more than the regular boxes. So if I do see one that contains products that I think I'd really like, I do try to get my hands on them. So I did pick the Candidly Nicole, which I think is a box that Nicole Richie like kind of help design. I don't know, but I kind of like the packaging. It's not like the most prettiest thing I've ever seen though. So opening this right on up, there are two cards in here. One being the one with the products. I want to keep that one. And then also this like bright yellow one. And I guess she's coming out with a show that's called Candidly Nicole. I had no idea, but yes, it is Nicole Richie. I was right on that one. So let's get right on into this. I'm seeing some awesome products as well as something for my lips. So I'm just going to grab that first because because I'm really excited for it. So I've actually had this brand before in Birchbox, and this is the La Croix & Company Cheeky Lip Crayon. And it says on the card that this comes in a set of three, and the full size is $20. I tend to think when it's like a cheek and lip product, I typically just like it for one place. I've never been one of those people who actually use it on like both regularly, but I love the color of this. It's just like what they said. It has a nice little rounded um, tip on the top, and I feel like the color is just perfect and it's actually coming off a little bit brighter than I thought. It's a very, very almost kind of bright dusty rose color, but I feel like on the lips and even sheared on, on the cheeks, this is going to look really pretty. The formula is really nice too. It just glided right across my hand. So I already have some lips and cheeks on today. I wish I could try it right now, but I'm going to play around with it just for a second and blend it out because, oh yeah, it definitely does have a really nice texture right when you start blending it out. It blends out super well, super smooth, so I think I'm going to love this stuff. This next one, I remember this from the email because I was like, oh my gosh, like that's so unique of a product. Like I've never seen anything like this before. But this is the Saint Tropez Gradual In Shower Tan Lotion, I guess. And the full size is $25. And this is a fantastic sample size. It's like as big as my hand. So I'm not a person who like kind of self tans or sunless tans a lot. I just feel like sometimes it looks fairly unnatural on my skin, but I have had good experience with the Saint Tropez brand in the past, and I'm really excited, like I just keep saying, because I've never seen like a gradual in shower tanning product, and I feel like for my legs and stuff that it'd be super, super handy. Like super handy. The consistency on this stuff though is something I never would have thought of because it's a very light yellow color, so it doesn't even look like a sunless tanner to me. And when I put a little bit on my hand, it's more of like a gel moisturizing consistency so it doesn't soak into the skin right away it just kind of shears out and it just looks clear on the skin which is very interesting to me but I'm definitely going to give this a try especially on my legs because I feel like in the tanning department those are what need the most help really let's be honest here next up is a skincare product from a doctor brand and this is the microdermabrasion skin exfoliant and the full size is a whopping 78 bucks it's a breakthrough at home treatment for a glowing complexion no pricey dermatologist appointment required, yet you're paying $78 for this stuff. Now I know I say this a million times when I talk about skincare products, but I'm kind of on a simple regimen because I am on acne medication and I am prescribed Retin-A. So if you guys aren't familiar, Retin-A is pretty much like a exfoliant for your face. It's just like a prescription strength. So it really is overturning my skin very fast. So I typically don't have any use for these kind of products. Granted, I have fallen off the Retin-A bandwagon a little bit just because it makes my skin so dry. So I think I will give this a try at least once or twice, but if I don't feel like it's something that I have to have, I'm going to give it to my boyfriend Jerome because he does have oily skin and I really do think he'd enjoy it. Moving along to this little orange, like literally neon orange packaging, and I feel like there's a lot of exciting stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I see purple packaging and a nail polish. Could this month get any better? Oh, maybe I spoke too soon though because look at how dark this is. 
is. Ah, this is like the one shade of nail polish that I never wear. But this is an OPI nail polish, obviously, from the Venice collection, and a full size of one of these is about $9.50. It says that this is from the brand's Fall and Winter collection for 2015, and these colors inspire you to travel. I don't know how, like, this deep, dark, gloomy color makes me want to travel. I don't know. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my finger real quick, though, because it literally just looks like a black. Like, I don't have my nails painted. I mean... Ugh, I don't know. It's kind of streaky and very light, and it's almost like a smoky gray color, which isn't really up my alley. I'm kind of disappointed with the color. So after looking for like five minutes, I just, the color is nowhere to be found. Like, it's not on the card, it's not on the packaging, so if you guys want to know the exact name, I'll look it up online for you guys and provide it in the description box. But honestly, I like OPI nail polish. I just wish I would have gotten a better color. Well, last but not least in this beautiful purple packaging is something from Renee Furterer. I think that's how you say it. This is the Lacia Leave-In Smoothing Fluid and the full size is $31 and it's a nourishing formula that protects hair during heat styling plus it tames flyaways and frizz. I think we all need that. I'm gonna smell it because with hair products guys I have to smell everything and oh my gosh it's like a green cap and like purple packaging. I love how colorful this is. So it's just like a very white consistency. It seems a little bit thin and it smells pretty good. You know what I can't put my exact finger on it it smells really good though, just take my word for it. <laughs> I really like products like this though, and there's actually one from Sunsilk. Do you guys remember that brand that I just love? It's like liquid gold, and it was their Hydro TLC cream, I think is what it's called, and I have like this much left. Like I'm rationing it because I love it so much and I can't find it in stores. So whenever it comes to like these smoothing type products, I'm always on the lookout for a new one that I love, and I really like these because it does say to apply it to damp hair and then blow dry, so I think it'd work great for that but I also feel like any of these products can be used as like a finishing cream too if you just use them really lightly so yay I am very 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 anxious to give this a try especially because I'm like curling and straightening my hair all the time so after looking over everything I'm gonna have to give it an 8 out of 10 and if you guys want to see the exact value for all of this then it'll be down in the description box for you but let's move on to Ipsy I'm seeing the bag and I think it's a little bit tacky I'm sorry maybe it's just just because I'm not super edgy, but I'm not really loving that pattern and color together. But I will say that the bag feels very nice. It's super durable, and honestly, it looks super cute in like her little outfit right there. Can you guys see that? So cute. So getting right on into this, I see something sitting right on top, and this is from Brio Geo, which I have had, um, I think their hair mask in the past, in like this little pot, and it did smell really good. I loved the packaging. I didn't feel like it was like the best hair mask ever, but this is their Blossom and Bloom ginseng and biotin volumizer very very cool I love this cutesy little bottle with like the little pump and everything of course I want to smell it though oh ah I don't think I like ginseng I definitely think I will give this a try eventually it's not something that I'm looking to like go try right now though and I think it's because it doesn't smell super great I love the sprayer it sprays out really well and I love the packaging this little floral bee is so cute but for me ginseng is something I must not like because whenever those energy drinks this is random but whenever those came out I can't even drink them because they smell so strong to me this isn't as strong as like say the ginseng or the smell of those but I think it's just like the undertone like I just don't like the way this smells very much and when it comes to my hair I want my hair to smell great and I want to use products that smell great on it so yeah I, I think I'll try this if I don't I'll probably give it to somebody else but I just am kind of 50 50 on this one as of right now up next is something in a little black box and this is from Hikari which is another brand that I've had in Ipsy and I can't exactly remember what I got was it a blush I can't remember but this is a lip gloss in salsa and a very just to see the color as usual but I'm not a big lip gloss fan so I'd kind of rather have a lipstick but this color is actually looking really nice I thought it might be more of a red but it's definitely like in the pinky kind of red family and honestly this stuff is really pretty look at that pigmentation it's almost like that fiery coral that's like super in right now and I do like that this isn't super clear I mean honestly you get the color that you see in the tube and that's always nice with lip gloss so I don't know if this will change the exact color of the lipstick I got going on right now but we're gonna put some on because I want to feel the texture and the consistency 
Yeah, it definitely looks a lot more orange on my lips. On the lips, it doesn't feel overly sticky. I mean, it feels just a little bit sticky and a little bit heavy, but that just could be me because I'm not a typical lip gloss person. But so far, so good. I'm pretty impressed by this one. Oh, but these things don't smell very good. <laughs> kind of chemically. Moving right along to something from Starlux Pro. Now if you get Ipsy, I'm sure you've gotten Starlux in the past. I definitely have. And I've never been super impressed. I've gotten a few eyeliners, I think. But this one is an eyeliner pin and it says Lux Longwear Eyeliner Pin. So you got me hook, line, and sinker. I want to see this thing. And here we go with the 10 minutes of trying to get this little thin plastic off. Ugh. And it's never easy, ever. I will admit, guys, that I am in love with this packaging. It feels super duper sturdy. And honestly, coming from Star Looks, I wouldn't expect that. And I know that sounds bad, but I'm very, very impressed so far. So when you pop the lid off and throw it across the room, as I just did, the tip looks really, really nice. It's just really a traditional felt tip with a really nice point. And it's not one of those that are made up of bristles. It's all kind of stiff and rigid. But when I draw it on the back of my hand, you have have really really great precision it bends just a little bit so you have a little bit of maneuverability but honestly guys look at that formula that is what I'm like just blown away by right now super opaque in one swipe you can definitely get like a nice pointy wing with this and it dries matte black I think I'm in heaven. I think we have two things left and one of them being in this little baggie and I really appreciate when they do this now because sometimes these liquidy products can explode in your bag and kind of ruin everything. I really haven't had it happen recently in Birchbox or Ipsy, I don't think, but I know I definitely hear a few other girls talking about it. So I really, really like how they include these little baggies now. But this is from Oz Naturals, I think, and this is the Amino Herbal Hydration Mask. I love a good hydrating mask. It says that it contains hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, and vitamin E, and it's a botanical skin tsunami for hydrating and nourishing skin cells. And I love that it's a hydration one because a lot of times I feel like I'm either getting scrubs or like ones for oily skin or ones for mature skin, and I never feel like I get ones for hydration, which is what I love, so I'm very excited to get this this month. I'm guessing the consistency is probably pretty thick, and I don't know the color-wise, like with it being all natural, I feel like they're kind of like dark brown colors but no this one's actually looking clear that one surprised me wow this is very interesting this texture is so strange it's like gummy jelly but when you do massage it into the skin it just really melds together it does feel extremely extremely hydrating and this is definitely one that I think I'm gonna need to use like a um, dishcloth or like a wash rag or whatever you call those things to remove it because whenever I feel like I add water to these when I go to take them off they're just so darn hard to get off with my fingers and I'm just like scrubbing at the sink for like 10 minutes and lastly I feel this tiny little thing in here and this, I believe, is it another eyeliner? No, it's actually a nude lip liner from Lord and Barry. It says number 3035 nude lip liner, and I don't know, I don't really do nude lips a lot. <laughs> Ooh, I, yeah, I really don't think I have a use for this. Granted, it's a very nice texture, but look at that color. It's like a warm brown, and that is just one lip that I feel like I can't pull off. I mean, I feel like I see what they're doing here. Like, I this could be up like the Kylie Jenner. Is that the right sister, Kylie, who like rocks those Sienna lips sometimes? I mean, I feel like that's kind of what they're trying to do here. But with my fair skin, it really just doesn't go, I don't think. <laughs> so that's everything that was in Ipsy this month. And I definitely feel like the standouts are the eyeliner, the hydration mask, and also that lip gloss that I was very, very pleased with. But after looking over everything, I do think it's gonna to have to fall short to Birchbox and I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. So as always I would love to hear what you guys got in your subscriptions this month and I would also be really appreciative if you gave this a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's see if we can get this video to 50 likes. I totally think we can do it. Like I said earlier all of the products in today's video will be linked and listed down in the description box for you and also all of my social media stuff's down there. The makeup I'm wearing on my face is down there as well as some of my other recent videos. So guys thank you so so much for watching. Have a great day as always and I'll see you next time. Bye!